In KitKat 8, graphic shapes are no longer limited to purely graphical elements. In previous versions of KitKat, these shapes could be drawn on any PCB layer but could not be assigned to a net without creating a footprint and using custom shape pads. However, this restriction has been removed in KitKat 8. This means that you can now have the flexibility to draw complex copper geometry directly within the board editor and even import copper shapes from external CAD tools. This is particularly useful for RF, coil and sensor design applications where intricate copper shapes are essential for optimal performance. So let's have a quick look at what this looks like in practice. So here's my demo PCB and I've got a net here. I'm just going to move it out of the way, just drag it just to allow for a bit of space to draw in here. So I can take any of those shapes. Let's say I'll take the box, just draw a box right there. And if I click on it, you see that now I can not only specify the layer, I could do that in previous versions, but I can also specify the net. So I can say that I want this to be part of the IO5 net or whichever net you like. So I'd like to connect it to the bus, right? So let's cancel a lot of that. I should be able to just take a wire here and make this connection. Uh, no, I'm not able to do that. Uh, so let's do the alternative, which is what I started doing earlier. I'm going to select, let's say V bus, there you go, and okay. And now you can see there's a rat's nest that tells me that I need to connect these two together. So before I actually use the wire tool to connect these two, pieces of copper. I just wanted to talk very quickly about this rat's nest line. And one of the things that I always wanted to be able to do is to make this line thicker. As you can see, I can barely see it. So now this is possible to do. So just go to KiCad settings and under PCB editor, editing options, you'll see that the ability now to modify the size of this uh, rat's nest line, usually it's 0 0.5. I can make it double that size and I can also choose to show rustiness with curved lines, which I think was possible to do in KitKat 7 and prior as well. But let's double the line thickness and it looks better. I can even go more than that. Let's do that one more time. I'll go for a five width and this is much better. There you go. Cool. So now I can complete the work I started earlier and connect the new box with a VBus line and any of the other graphics tools here, it can actually work. So if I take a circle, for example, done, you can see now one overlaps the other, which means that it's already assigned to VBus. So that's a new feature, connectivity for graphic shapes.